Hi, this is Jeremy. This is Nick. Welcome to Cloud of Witnesses. Journey with the Saints. As you may know, we have a Patreon account. It is going to help us get our own equipment to keep this podcast coming to you twice a month. We're going to jump right into this episode, but please prayerfully consider joining our Patreon and seeing some of our exclusive content as well and being able to support our witness of the witness of the saints. St. Anicetus is the story that you're going to hear today. It is inspiring, and Nick was not wrong. Our Patreon's a lot of fun. Come check it out. Enjoy the episode, folks. Man's power is feeble and weak, most especially when he works against God. In today's episode, we will see how the most powerful man on earth was proven to be impotent when set against the omnipotent God. In the beginning of the fourth century, Emperor Diocletian, the ruler of the inhabited world and one of the most fierce persecutors of Christians history has ever known, visited the city of Nicomedia with the evil intention of completely exterminating the Christians there. And so he called together the local officials of the area in order to execute his diabolical plan. Governors of the region, you know why I'm here today. The Christian superstition has grown out of control. That must come to an end. Anicetus, you are governor in this region. Tell me how you plan to fix this problem. Emperor Diocletian, I have had enough of this violence. The worship of these idols, these deaf and dumb pieces of stone, wood and silver, is enough and is not worthy of a rational man. I, too, declare myself as a Christian and a follower of Christ Jesus. <laughs> You stand before me and declare your idiocy in front of the entire court? <laughs> fool! Dear Emperor, it is not I the fool, but you. I worship the God that has created all, but you have fallen to worshiping nothing but the created world. And you have become deaf and dumb, just like your idols. Please tell me that this is jest. Anicetus, please tell me that you have not lost your mind. This must be a joke. The Lord God in the beginning made us rational beings in his image, but we have fallen so low to worship creation, to become irrational like the beasts and even lower. Dear Emperor and all the officials gathered here today, Please hear my words. There is no such thing as the Pantheon. Enough! And Silence this man! This will not be tolerated in the Empire. Anicetus, you have lost your mind. Guards, let's not allow him to spread such idiocy. Cut out his tongue. And so the guards committed the ghastly deed and cut Anicetus' tongue from his mouth. But to the astonishment of everyone present, the saint of God continued to boldly proclaim the power of God. Dear men of this assembly, do not be confounded by the power of the God of the universe who works through me, but come to faith. 
I know that our people are pious and even have altars dedicated to the unknown God. And it is this very God that I proclaim to you. Come to faith. What? But I saw your tongue cut from your mouth. How does this man still speak? Someone kill this man. End his life. Silence him. Feed him to the lions. But to the astonishment of everyone present, instead of devouring Anacetus, the lion simply fawned at his feet. What do you mean to tell me? Anacetus has converted his brother and kinsman to the Christian faith? I want Photius dead. Swordsman, go and do your duty. And again, to the astonishment of everyone present, instead of executing Anacetus' cousin, Photius, the swordsman had struck himself dead. You mean to tell me that none of these executions were successful? I've had enough! I want Anicetus dead and his kinsmen with him. Get the furnace hotter than it's ever been. We will watch them burn. And into the fires they went. But not alone. Much to the shame of the emperor, many Christians, men, women, and children joined them in the fire, and in so doing, joined them in their martyrdom. Even though Diocletian had come to exterminate Christianity from Nicomedia, when the bodies were found from the martyrs after their martyrdom, their bodies were completely intact. And thus, many pagans were converted to Christianity. Diocletian was then left to leave Nicomedia in disgrace and shame and defeat. And thus, we see man's power is feeble and weak most especially when he works against God. Wow, what a story, Nick. Amen. God is not mocked. God is not mocked, and the power of mankind, even at the height of glory and fame, the emperor of the entire civilized world, Nothing. Had nothing. Nothing. And that, that also is a testimony to if you are joined to God, then you're tapping into that power. But if you are working against God, you are depleted. You have no, you have no juice. You're like the idols that they were worshiping. They were made of wood and metal. They had no heart no eyes, they couldn't hear, they couldn't see. Nick, I love that line. What was it that Anicetus said about those idols? Yeah, basically, you have become like unto them. You've become like unto these idols. This dumb wood statue. Made in the image of fallen man. Amen. Amen. Who is blind and dumb and deaf when he's not connected to God. You know, Nick, it's it's an idea that I want to share with so many people, you know, in our current modern day world, you know, paganism has kind of resurged in the, in the cultural, you know, milieu. Very much so. You want to say what St. Anicetus said, which is no rational man should believe this stuff. Mm-hmm. You know, it's, yeah. it's folly. You know, we were talking the other day about astrology. Yeah. No rational man should believe that where the placement of the stars were at the time of your birth has anything to do with anything. Mm-hmm. Yep. 
you know, and yet it's 2000 years later and people are still believing these things, you know, and uh, it's a testimony that man wants to tap into something greater, Amen. but what does he do? He falls to creation. He becomes deaf and dumb and he aligns his quote unquote destiny to the alignment of stars, which is so sad. Fate, right? Chance, right. fortune, all these, these are, these are ancient pagan themes, fortune, mm -hmm. fate, luck, all these things. Unfortunately, there's a resurgence that once, you know, we have become disconnected from the living God. Unfortunately, these old pagan themes are coming back and Absolutely. resurging people well, hoping to plug back into something. Right. And, and kind of ironically, Nick, you know, Christianity is not easy. It's something we talk about a lot here, right? The lives of the saints declare to us again and again, it is not easy to live the Christian life. If you have an idol, a wooden statue, and that is your God, something tells me it's not going to be very difficult to do what that uh, <laughs> religion is requiring of you. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Unfortunately, it's made in the image of fallen man. Yeah. And the desires and will of fallen man is easy to follow when you are a fallen man. Yeah. Yep. And, you know, the to turn back and to repent and to be put back on the narrow way is not easy at all. And it takes the grace of God and the faith of a saint to do so. Amen. I hope that our listeners appreciated hearing this amazing, you know, and again, the, this true account of how Anicetus and his uh, kinsman, Photius, yeah. the attempts to take their life were thwarted again and again and again. Yeah. And Lord it's mercy. only when they willingly at the end walked into the furnace with so many others who fearlessly, Nick, I loved how you said that they fearlessly went into the flames, mm -hmm. singing and chanting to God. They gave their lives up for God. Amazing. I hope that inspires all those listening and it's, I know it's inspiring me to just think, okay, what are the petty things that are hard for me to get over? Am I hangry? Can yeah. I not fast? Can I not right. do these things? Do I not want to pray? Do I not want to, you know, to do, honestly, the simple obedience asks of, asked of me by the church yeah. to benefit my own soul, Right. let alone do face the, an emperor. Exactly. Denounce an emperor and put so much on the line, yeah. literally your whole life, let alone your have your tongue cut out. Yep. Violence done to you. Yeah. Lord of mercy. Lord of mercy. And, and thanks be to God uh, for the blessings and mercies that we do have, Nick. Uh, you know, it's one thing we pray in the Orthodox Church on a daily basis. Peace in our time, right? Mm -hmm. Not everyone gets it. Not yeah. every person lives it. Unfortunately, it's, it's God's plan for our lives. But we do hope to have those things. But we are an incredibly blessed um, people in this current time we don't have emperors who are executing christians by the hundreds or thousands as they were in this time and we should seek to be like the busy working bee using this time to gather honey so that when the times get hard spiritually we can fall back on the grace that honey to be able to be strong enough in these times by the grace of god to stand up to whatever tyrannical forces through the evil one seek to snuff out faith thank you so much for listening this long into this episode of cloud of witnesses journey with the saints my name is jeremy my name is nick please go find us on instagram facebook youtube cloud of witnesses radio and also we gotta let you know please go check out our patreon page it's an opportunity for you to support this ministry we've got a goal to get our own equipment Thank you so much for your consideration and thank you so much for your time. We pray that this has had an impact on you and on your day as you're listening. And we also hope that this will have an impact on more people. So please like, share, subscribe, do all those things so that we can reach more and more people, please. Thank you. Thank you. Until next time. So guys, what happens when all of our voice actors are busy and their schedules keep them away from recording sessions? Well... Simple. We open the prologue and we'll whip up a story to tell to you all. That's right. We bring in Tirza, Nick, and good old Jeremy. Yeah. We, we try to get it done. Yep. And we play six roles each. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. I'm Tirza and I was the narrator. I'm Jeremy and I was Emperor Diocletian. I'm Nick 
And I was Saint Anicetus. Convert and believe. Amen. Amen. And that's a wrap. Hey, Jeremy, hit the cheering. There we go. Thank you guys for listening to this episode. We hope you very much enjoyed it. It is an absolute pleasure and blessing to bring Cloud of Witnesses to you all. You with the saints. I thought you were going to say you were the saints. Exciting and inspiring for all of our listeners. May God, through the prayers of his most pure mother and all the saints, guide us all to the heavenly homeland. We hope to see you next time, here on Cloud of Witnesses, Journey with the Saints.